What's up, Birchwood fam? Welcome to another week of virtual camp. Um, like I said before, my name is Sarah. I'm super excited to be doing these morning devotions with you guys. It's a little rainy outside right now. You might be able to hear it. I don't know. Um, so far, I've had like a super, super busy week with school and stuff, and I've just been a little crazy but I love I love when I get to sit down with you guys and actually just spend some time with you here spend some time with the Lord on my own and just kind of dive in with you guys through camp so I'm gonna go ahead and pray us in and then we'll get started God thank you so much just for this week I know that sometimes a lot of our weeks are busier than others but you are none of the less apparent in our lives you are none of the less helpful and I am just super, super blessed by you. God, I hope that today as I speak, I can speak through you and speak the words that you need to hear, like I say every week, because this is not only my time with the campers, God, but this is your time with them as well. Amen. Awesome. So our word this week for camp is guidance. And we are going to be reading 1 Kings verse three, seven, chapter 3, verses 7 through 15. Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in the place of my father David. But I, only a little child, do not know how to carry out my duties. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to count or number. So give your servant a discerning heart and govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. For who is able to govern the great people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon asked for this. So God said to him, Since you have asked for this, and not for a long life of wealth for yourself, nor have you asked for death of your enemies, but discernment in administrating justice, I will do just what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart that you will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you not asked for, both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. And if you walk in obedience with me, keep my decrees and commands as David your father did, I will give you a long life. Then Solomon awoke, and he realized it had been a dream. He returned to Jerusalem, stood before the ark of the Lord's covenant, and sacrificed burnt offerings and fellowship offerings. Then he gave a feast for his court. I loved reading this story, and I don't know why. I think it's because... Among all of the crazy in my life specifically, I have really, really had to learn to lean on the Lord's guidance through all of this, through this crazy pandemic, through the changes, through not being able to come up to Alaska and be with you guys this summer. Um, just like really learning to lead um, on his timing and his guidance in my life. And so this week, I hope that you can take the word guidance. I hope that you can um, administer that in your own life and just know that no matter how crazy things get, no matter how confused you might be or you don't know what's coming next or you're worried or you're nervous, that you have an amazing captain of the GPS and that is Jesus and that is God and they both know what they're doing. He knows where you're going. He knows the next step you're going to take before you even know. He knows the decisions you're going to make down the road because he is preparing you just like he prepared Solomon. He is giving you all of these gifts and all of these things so that you can go and accomplish his work and do great deeds for him. And I think that's so exciting. And I know in my life, I'm still learning to trust that, but oh my gosh, it has just been so crazy and so amazing to watch the Lord work through that. Um, and I can't wait to see how he does that with you. I know this goes on the YouTube page. So if God is doing anything amazing, comment under this video this week. I want to read it. I want to respond. I want to be there for you guys. Um, reach out. Talk to your counselors. I know y'all do some live stuff every week. Really, really just express what God's doing because I think that in the time of uncertainty and worry that we're in, it's so awesome to hear about how God is working through that. And so... This week, I am just like wishing you all the love, all the support um, from here where I'm at. And also, I know your counselors in Alaska are doing the same thing for you guys. And so, um, I pray for each and every one of your safety. I pray for your family's safety. I pray for comfort if you need it. I pray um, that any stress you're feeling goes away, any worry you're feeling goes away. Because like I said, let the Lord guide your heart. Let the Lord guide your steps. Let the Lord guide your life. It'll be a life changer. All right, bye guys. Have a great week.